Hi, it's Colette from Jimbury Play Music Seven Oaks. Welcome to Jimbury Play Music at Home. Welcome, babies. Welcome, babies, to our baby lab today. Time to look and time to listen let's explore and learn to play welcome babies welcome babies with our friends we say hello let's learn and grow together are you ready here we go yay Welcome to our very special online baby lab classes, specially designed for our littlest members aged six months and under. We're going to be offering activities for you to do and songs to sing at home with props that are readily available. For today's class, you will need a blanket, some balls, and a mirror. Now this could be one that you have hanging on your wall at home, it could be a small handheld mirror, anything that you can place on the floor that your little one can look into. And also if you have a hand puppet that you can use in place of Jimbo, we'll be finishing off with our Jimbo dance at the end. Now first of all we're going to do our warm up song and we're going to get little ones warmed up and ready to play. We're going to do a song called Charlie Chaplin. This is a really nice physical song, really helping little ones arms and legs to get moving. So we're going to start off by holding little ones hands and crossing their arms across their body as we say Charlie Chaplin went to France to teach the ladies how to dance. First of all we're going to do the samba, so we're going to see if we can tap their toes together. Then we're going to do some kicks, up and down. Then we're going to do the rumba, doing some bicycle legs with little ones. And then we're going to do the splits and see how flexible you all are, okay? So let's have a go. Let's see if we can hold little ones' hands and go. Charlie Chaplin went to France to teach the ladies how to dance. First they did the samba. Cha, 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 cha. Then they did some kicks, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Next they did the rumba, cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And then they did the splits. <gasps> Very good. Let's do it again. Let's grab those hands again. Ready? We'll go. Charlie Chaplin went to France to teach the ladies how to dance. First they did the samba. Cha 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 cha. Then they did some kicks. Cha 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 cha. Next they did the rumba. Cha 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 cha. And then they did the splits. Well done, everybody. Next, we're going to do some tummy time. So time for some hard work, little ones. So as I said before, we're going to use a mirror for this. So if you have a mirror on your wall that you can pull down and pop on the floor, um, any size will do, even a hand mirror will do, anything that we can pop on the floor so little ones can see their reflection. If you want to go and grab that and pop it on the floor now. When your mirror is ready, we're going to pop our little ones onto their tummies. So... Popping Jimbo down on his tummy so that he's facing into the mirror. So the mirror is going to act as a little distraction to hopefully keep little ones on their tummies for longer than they might be without it. They can see themselves in the mirror, which is a nice distraction. They can also see you if you lean across and look in the mirror as well. They're going to be more familiar with your face than their own face. So using your face in the mirror is a nice comfort for them to let them know that everything is okay. Little ones, if they're especially little, might need a bolster. So you could roll up a blanket and pop it underneath their chest with their arms over the top to give them that little bit extra support and help them to hold their head up. Now, important thing to remember in tummy time is to keep it positive. If little one isn't happy, take them off. You can always try again a little bit later on. Tummy time is most effective when it's little and often and you can build it up over time to help the upper body get nice and strong for little ones, okay? So 
keep it nice and positive, take them off if they start to cry and try again a little bit later. Something else you can also add in for an extra distraction is some balls. So we can roll the balls around on top of the mirror and little ones can watch them. So they're gonna work their tracking skills as they do this. Some of the older babies might be trying to work their hand-to-eye coordination as we're rolling the balls around, seeing if they can reach out and grasp them. There'll be lots of licking going on. There might be some chewing going on, maybe even trying to catch the ball with their tongue. So have a little go with some balls as that a little bit of extra tummy time play. to our prop activity for today. So we're using blankets. So I'm sure you've got one of these laying around at home. Any kind of blanket will do. We're gonna do some activities with it. So first of all, we're gonna see how the blanket feels for little one. So we're gonna have a nice little tactile activity as we rub the blanket all over their body. So we're gonna rub, 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 perhaps applying a little bit of pressure in places so we can feel the texture of that blanket all over their body. Now pay attention to any exposed skin so they can really feel the texture of the blanket on their skin. But you can also rub over clothes as well so they can feel the pressure of the blanket too. You can rub all over their faces if you like, across their head, and a good thing for you to do here as well is to point out and mention the name of the body part that you're rubbing so little ones can get a little bit of body awareness learning that these are my fingers, this is my tummy, this is my arm and so on. Now we can do a little bit of a song with this one. We're going to go, this is the way we wash our babies, wash our babies, wash our babies. This is the way we wash our babies here at Gymbury. This is the way we wash our babies, wash our babies, wash our babies. This is the way we wash our babies here at Gymbury. Very nice. <laughs> and peekaboo. So using your blanket we're going to cover either your face or cover little one's face. It's up to you. Some babies don't like having things in their faces but providing you're providing that barrier in between you and your baby then peekaboo will work. Okay so we're going to cover over and say peeka boo. Peeka boo. And we can sing where oh where is my little baby? Peekaboo! Where oh where is my little baby? Peekaboo! Where oh where is my little baby? Peekaboo! Where oh where are you? Peekaboo! Very nice. Now you could repeat it through, but change the song a little bit and pop your baby's name in there instead. So for example, you can sing, Where oh where is my little Jimbo? Peekaboo! Where oh where is my little Jimbo? Peekaboo! Where oh where is my little Jimbo? Peekaboo! Where, oh, where are you? Yay! 
Now next we're going to do a couple of physical activities using our blanket. So if you've got a big blanket you might want to fold it up a little bit and we're going to pop it underneath little one. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the top two corners of your blanket and we're going to slowly raise little ones up to a sitting position and then we're going to slowly take them back down again. So what we're doing here is we're encouraging little ones to sit up but by not using our own hands we're using the blanket we're not physically touching babies so we're giving them the idea that they're doing it themselves. So hopefully what they will do is engage those tummy muscles to get them nice and strong because that's what they're going to need to actually sit up in the future, okay? So we can take little ones slowly up and slowly down again. sitting up. Look at our babies laying down. Look at our babies. Look at our babies. Look at our babies sitting up. Now we're also going to try and encourage some rolling over. So again, this is going to be using those core muscles which are going to need to be nice and strong for rolling and for sitting. So again, using the blanket, not using our hands, we're gonna see if we can encourage little ones to roll over. So you're gonna take the edge of the blanket, slowly lift it up and encourage little one to roll over onto their tummies. Again, we're not using our hands, so hopefully they're going to engage those core muscles and do the turning themselves. The more you do it, the more they'll expect it to happen and the more they'll engage those muscles. We can also roll from the front to the back as well. So again, picking up that blanket and rolling over. preferred way of rolling whether it's right to left or left to right some babies prefer to roll from front to back or back to front so it's a good idea to keep trying them both ways and see which one your baby prefers off our class today as we always do with our Jimbo song. So we've got Jimbo here. Now I appreciate you probably don't have a Jimbo hand puppet at home. If you're lucky to then go grab him by all means. But if not any other hand puppet will do or even a soft toy that you can move around in front of little one's face. Now remember we're going to hold the little one over their heads round about uh, 10 to 12 uh, inches away and you're going to do some nice slow small movements to let little ones keep up. The older your baby is the faster you can go and the further you can take your movements as well to really challenge their tracking. Okay let's see if we can watch Jimbo do his moves. So we'll go Jimbo the clown goes up and down up up and down, up and down. Jimbo the clown goes up and down all day long. Now slowly side to side. Jimbo the clown goes side to side, side to side, side to side. Jimbo the clown goes side to side all day long. Let's twist. Jimbo the clown goes twist, 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 twist. Jimbo the clown goes twist, 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 all day long. Peekaboo! Jimbo the clown plays peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. 
peek-a-boo. Jim by the clown plays peek-a-boo. All day long, very quiet. Jim by the clown says, shh, shh, shh. Jimbo the clown says shh 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 all day long. We'll wave bye bye. Jimbo the clown says bye 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 bye. Jimbo the clown says bye bye bye. We'll see you all next time. Let's have some kisses. Mm -hmm. And we'll say bye bye, Jimbo. Off he goes. Jimbo the clown goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Jimbo the clown goes up and down. All day long. Jimbo the clown goes side to side, side to side, side to side. Jimbo the clown goes side to side all day long. Jimbo the clown goes twist, 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 twist. Twist, twist, twist. Jimbo the clown goes twist, twist, twist all day long. Jimbo the clown plays peek a boo, peek a boo, peek a boo. Jimbo the clown plays peek a boo all day long. Jimbo the clown says shh, shh, shh. Jimbo the clown says shh, 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 all day long. Jimbo the clown says bye, 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 bye. Jimbo the clown says bye, 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 we'll see you all next time. Mwah. Now we've said goodbye to Jimbo. It's time to say goodbye to each other. Should we give ourselves a great big Jimbery cheer? Are you ready? We'll bang on the floor. I feel great. I feel fine. And I've had a lovely time with my family and friends. Here at Jimbery, won't you say three cheers with me? Three big cheers after three will count one, two, three, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray, it's our Jimboree Day, yay! So it's goodbye from me and Jimbo and we will see you all again for some more Jimboree at home fun very soon. Bye!